Welcome back, Hampshire Chemistry students. Glad to have you here today. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the idea of percent composition and trying to reach the goal that I can find the percent composition of each element in a compound. Remember that when we're dealing with percents, any percent can be calculated by taking the part of something you're interested in, dividing by the whole, and simply multiplying by 100. So we're going to apply this type of idea looking at a problem like this one. Okay, where I'm asked to find the percent composition or percent comp of each element in the compound CO2. So all I have to do here is figure out my percent carbon and my percent oxygen that are present in my molecule. So in order to find that percent carbon, following my instructions here, I need to figure out the part of my element that is carbon. Usually we're going to measure these in grams divided by the total amount of our carbon. So that'd be our grams of carbon or, or our carbon dioxide, or also just known as our molar mass of CO2. So we are going to quickly take a second here and make sure we understand the idea of calculating our molar mass and how we're going to plug that into our equation. So since carbon is made up, carbon dioxide is made up of carbon and oxygen, we need to figure out the mass of each of those guys separately. So, popping out our p table, we can see that carbon has a mass of 12.01, whereas oxygen has a mass of 16. So, I have 12.01 grams per mole of carbon and 16.00 grams for oxygen. Now, make sure we notice the formula here. There is one carbon atom times two oxygen atoms, giving me my totals for each element. So my carbon, my oxygens are being doubled. So my total molar mass of CO2 is very simply going to be 12.01 plus 32.00 or 44.01 grams per mole. So this gets plugged in as the bottom part of my fraction. We can add that in here. So this is the whole that we're dividing by of CO2. Now we need to include the grams of our carbon, which we already found. The breakdown of the, of the coal molecule was that 12.01 grams were from carbon. So if I just plug this into my calculator, I can very easily find my percent for carbon. So 12.01 divided by 44.01 and then multiply by 100. Let's go ahead and keep these four sig figs going. So I would see this as an answer of 27.29% carbon. Pretty easy, right? But the good thing is, since we've already set everything up, we can do the same thing for our oxygen, right? Except instead of grams of carbon on the top, we're going to take grams of oxygen divided by the molar mass of CO2. So remember that we, since we had two oxygens, we're going to need to include all 32 grams of oxygen that were present that make up our CO2. So we can find our final answer. Don't forget to multiply by that 100 to turn your decimal into a percent. So 32 divided by 44.01 times 100. Again, keeping those four sig figs, we should end up with 72.71%. And hey, that makes sense because if we add up our two percentages, they should equal 100. And in fact, if you had a big brain moment there, if you'd found the 27.29 and you knew there was only one other element, you could just subtract that from 100 and you get our answer that we got for our oxygen, right? Because these two add up to 100. So, simple example, uh, but let's take a look at a trickier one, one that involves a little bit more math. So instead of doing this for a simple compound like CO2, let's look at an example like magnesium nitrate. So in this guy, we're going to need to calculate first the formula of magnesium nitrate. 
So magnesium has a two plus charge. Nitrate is one of our polyatomics with a minus one. So I'm going to need two minus ones to balance this out. So we're going to have not just two, but three elements present. And we also have some subscripts and parentheses to deal with. So let's break this down. We're going to end up doing the same thing we did with the carbon dioxide, where I'm going to want to find my percent magnesium, my percent nitrogen, and then finally my percent oxygen. So just like we did with the CO2, we're going to need to figure out our molar mass for our molecule for magnesium nitrate. So let's set this up. We have Mg, Ns, and Os. So again, these are just straight from our periodic table. Magnesium has a mass of 24.31 grams per mole. Nitrogen has a mass of 14.01 grams per mole. And oxygen, like we saw in the previous problem, is 16. So these are all really easy. Where people tend to make mistakes is this next step, counting up the number of elements. So in magnesium nitrate, I see no subscript on magnesium, so there's only one of it. Now, nitrogen also has no subscript. But remember, this two on the outside affects both the N and the oxygen. So I'm going to take two times the one, telling me there are two total nitrogens in this molecule. Same thing with the oxygen, except this guy has a three. So three times two gives me six total oxygens. And then we can find each of our different parts. So our magnesium stays the same. Our nitrogen gets multiplied by two. And then our oxygen gets multiplied by six. Even Mr. Bartlett has to pull the calculator out for this guy. 16 times six, same thing as eight times 12, oh, it's 96, look at that. So all together now, these guys will add up to your molar mass for our magnesium nitrate. So the total mass of our formula is 148.33 grams of MgO3, MgNO3, two per mole. So there is our final answer with each of our different parts. These are going to be super important as we set up our problem, right? So let's get these guys all down. I've got 24.31 grams of Mg. We're going to divide by the molar mass, the 148.33 grams of MgNO3. And we're going to do the same thing for our other pieces of our compound. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have nitrogen, which was 28.02 grams of nitrogen over, again, the molar mass. And then finally, our oxygen was our biggest component. You guys can all see that? So perfect. Okay. Don't forget, we're going to multiply all these by 100 as we plug them into our calculators. All right. So 24.31 divided by 148.33 times 100 gives me 16.39% magnesium. Okay, don't get these guys mixed up. Make sure you include their units as part of the problem. Nitrogen, 28.02 divided by the same number, 148.33. Multiply that by 100 and we get 18.89% nitrogen. So then finally, I'm going to have 96 divided by 148.33 times 100. And I get my final percentage of 64.72% oxygen. So our final step is to double check all of these by adding them all up. And we should hopefully add up to 100. So 16.39 plus 18.89 plus 64.72.
I hit enter, and I get exactly 100%. Now, sometimes, depending on your rounding, you might get like a 99.99 .99 or 100.1. .1. As long as you are very close to that 100, you will be showing the correct answer here. So that is our breakdown for how we solve these types of problems. They're not super crazy. We're just involving making sure you understand how to set up your percents to get the correct part over the whole. Okay, hopefully we should be able to reach our goal right now of finding the percent composition of each element in a compound. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and send me an email. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day.